we created the first company, Neurostream Technologies, as a spin-off from SFU. The target was to develop nerve cuff electrodes, which were the types of electrodes I, I developed since my thesis. So the Neurostep technology includes a couple elements that are unique, they are new, and they are uh, necessary in order to have a totally implanted pacemaker-like device that controls uh, the, the activation of muscles. Because one of the things that a device needs to know moment to moment is where is the foot? So it needs sensors. And they conduct that information to the brain uh, on, along peripheral nerves and we have a nerve cuff that senses that activity and extracts information uh, about gait. So in 2004, we sold the technology, Neurostream Technologies company and the patents. The same technology now could be used to treat many other disorders. My mother had a pneumonia and was rushed in a hospital, put in intensive care, and right away hooked up to a mechanical ventilator. And within a week, she was being coached to, to breathe again on her own, and she couldn't. About 20 to 30 percent of patients on mechanical ventilation fail to wean, and I think in, in many or most of them, it's probably because the diaphragm has lost its strength and, and fatigues. When I came back from being with my mother, I had uh, come up with the concept of a minimally invasive, simple, temporary way to pace the diaphragm. What we're doing, we're keeping the diaphragm strong so it can start up again when you need it. It took 30 years of development with the Neurostep and, and the fully implanted device to now have the insight to say, you know, this can be done too. In this case, the concept I came up with is that the ideal electrode is an inside-out nerve cuff put inside the vein, um, hugging the wall of the vein, but with the electrodes looking out. I think we are lucky in that we have the validation of the science from uh, grants, uh, like the NSERC Idea to Innovation, phase two, and we have the validation of the business case from the recently won awards, including this Life Science BC award. And that plus investment by partners interested in participating is what it takes to move this forward at the best speed.